Hey, what's up everybody? I'm making this video about human chromosome 2 in relation to Genesis chapter 2. Um, most Christians I know don't take the Bible completely literal. They know that the serpent wasn't the real serpent, it was the devil. That the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and the tree of life weren't literal trees and that the fall didn't come by them eating an apple off a tree. That would be silly. And we know that the first six days would be, represent six long time periods, like six billion years. Now what about the rib of Adam? It says that God took a rib of Adam and shaped and formed the woman out of this and brought her to him. Now we have 24 ribs and, and the other primates such as the chimpanzee and the ape have 24 chromosomes but we're missing one. We're, we're one short. Though it, it was a fusion on, uh, which is now human chromosome 2. Now, could it be that through evolution, God evolved humanoid-like creatures, um, such as Neanderthals, more animalistic and, and not uh, eternal beings? But could it be that God caused the fusion of a chromosome and one of the offspring of, of these humanoid creatures? Because we know even now that a human can have a, a child with uh, 22 chromosomes. So we know that fusions on chromosomes can happen. Now, could it be that God brought forth this... Uh, this humanoid offspring that had 23 chromosomes according to his purpose and his plan and that he and that he breathed his uh, his spirit into this uh, humanoid causing it to be made in his image and that it was spiritually made in his image not physically but uh, spiritually now could this be and and then uh, after God had brought this one forth and put his spirit into this one giving it a higher intelligence than the other humanoids uh, which would be Neanderthalish or whatever, but could it be that God put <clears throat> this being Adam to sleep and then caused another fusion in the chromosome in the offspring of another one of these humanoids, which would have then been Eve, and then he's and likewise breathed the spirit into it, causing uh, her to be made in the image of God and giving her higher intelligence and then bringing them together and awaking him, bringing them together. Um, and then telling them to be fruitful and multiply, giving them a commandment not to break, but they broke it, and then they fell, and then, you know, the moral law and all that came into be. Now, uh, this is definitely an interesting thought. Um, I thought about this a week ago, so I was going to put up a video on this, but I was searching the internet tonight, actually, and I found someone else had mentioned this on a website, but uh, they were saying, like, Adam was a chump. Now, that, that's pretty silly. Uh, it... If Adam came about um, through evolution, it would have been through the more humanoid uh, beings like Neanderthals, which were probably less intelligent um, uh, and didn't have a spirit. Though they were becoming more intelligent, of course, according to God's purpose, because he desired man naturally to have the natural capacity in his DNA to be intelligent. So, um, you know, this is just a thought. I, I, who knows? Nobody really knows, but, you know, being that, you know, Genesis 1 through 3 is um, very metaphorical, you know, his rib could have, that could have very well represented uh, a, a chromosome. And if you look at the DNA, it's sort of ribbish, maybe. Maybe that was the rib, um, because we know we have 24 ribs now, so. Uh, perhaps that was, um, you know, just a metaphor. You know, and God's, in that day, God's not going to come down saying, you know, uh, that he used, you know, chromosomes. He's not going to get into the details of DNA. He's just going to give them a metaphor because that's all, you know, they can they can take in. And uh, you know, maybe the interpretation, the the real interpretation of that was for future times, like now. Who knows? Anyways, just a thought. Uh, let me know what you think. Leave me some uh, some comments and or a video response, and let me know what you think. And sorry about the the cam being dark. Uh, this uh, I'm using a video wave and. When I try to brighten up the cam, it won't let me, so who knows. Anyway, let me know what you think.